Good morning, Ira DeWitt. Thanks for joining us here on the Big 550 KTRS. Hi, thanks for having me on. You got it. The last time uh, you were in studio, your daughter was out promoting a charity. Um, it was a great charity. Yeah, where she was um, uh, wanted um, kids to uh, donate their prom dresses for the underprivileged. How's that charity going? It's actually going great. Uh, by trial and error, we found that um, we needed larger sizes, so we corrected that problem, and we've got larger sizes. So, you know, we're at year two, and we gave away, I want to say, close to 300 prom dresses, so it went really, really well. That's a great story, and so she's still going strong with that. Yep, she is. Uh, and where can people find out more information about that great organization? It's promdressshareSTL.com. PromdressshareSTL.com. Uh, you know, that's a pretty nice deal. You must be pretty proud of her, uh, considering she's growing up, and the first thing she wants to do is uh, give back to the St. Louis community. You know, I really am. And, you know, with, uh, you know, living a life of privilege, and you always worry about your children, you know, be- uh, turning out spoiled or feeling entitled or, you know, not thinking about others. But, you know, I guess we did something right with her wanting to do things like this. And, you know, I hope that it, c- it continues to grow for her and she continues to have that spirit in her life. Yeah, Pro- uh, shareprompdressesstl.com. That's a great one. All right, but you were actually here for first for something else. What's going on with this uh, with this Arts and Technology Scholarship Foundation? Uh, well, it was really sweet. Uh, Microsoft and Notes for Life uh, gave me a, a, a entrepreneurial di- diversity award, and I was really flattered because um, there's not a lot of women in the music industry, and um, they decided to basically honor me. I'm in the music business, and um, decided to name a scholarship after me every year, which is so flattering, and you know, it's nice to always get recognized for the work you do. And uh, you do, you, you did mention you're in the music business. You're the ones who's finding all these rappers all around town, right? Rappers and R&B singers. I uh, started out my career 15 years ago with Jane. I was her assistant running around. I left my Ph.D. career as an assistant professor or an adjunct professor at SLU. And I decided I want to follow my dream. I've always wanted to be in the music business. I started following around Jane, who was working with Nelly at the time. And... I started my own company and started my own production company. I had a label through Universal and consult for big labels and sign artists and R&B singers and rappers and launch them. And we've had number one hits and Grammy nominations. It's been really cool. A fun ride. What is it about St. Louis that is such a hotbed for all these singers, songwriters, and R&B guys and gals? You know... There's a lot of talent here in St. Louis, and a lot of times people think, oh, a label or something entertainment-related that's not related to sports maybe cannot happen in St. Louis, but it can, you know? And I'm living proof. I decided to launch a record label from St. Louis, and it's, it's done really well. And there's, like I said, there's a lot of talent here in St. Louis. You just have to tap into it. I mean, from, from from Miles Davis to Chuck Berry to, uh, you know, you mentioned uh, Nelly and some of the big boys. Um, I mean, it, it, is it something in the water? Is it the way we're, I mean, or is it just they've had the opportunity, like people like you who are able to get to the decision makers and the gatekeepers to sort of give them the exposure they need? I think it's a little bit of both because, you know, I think us being in the Midwest, we get exposed to a lot of West Coast, East Coast you know, influences, and I guess that being in the Midwest, you kind of have a pulse on, as an artist and a writer anyway, what the general uh, population wants and likes, you know? Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you look for when you're out scouting? What do you look for? You know, just raw talent. I'm not really, I mean, I'm interested in social media numbers, but it doesn't always translate. I'd like to really look for raw talent. You don't do any, like, cyber metrics and do any, um, you know, numbers crunching or anything, do you? You know, of course I do, and that always is tempting, but, you know, it doesn't always translate. Like, I knew this kid that had, like, close to a million Instagram followers, but they were selling tickets to his concert, and, they, you know, they can sell tickets, so... 
doesn't always translate. I mean, it, it's just one element in a larger, you know, matrix of things. Yeah. yeah. Ira DeWitt with a CEO of Notify Records. She's just uh, been given an award for Notes for Life Art and Technology Scholarship Foundation. Uh, Ira, anything else we need to know about the uh, Scholarship Foundation or anything like that? Uh, it's at the gallery on the second floor, and Ronnie Notch is uh, the person that's the head of it. So if you guys have any inquiries or want to donate to a scholarship, you guys should um, so go to the second floor to the Microsoft store at the gallery and ask for Ronnie Notch. Is, is there a website to find out more? Mm -hmm. There probably is, but I don't know it at the top, off the top of my head. <laughs> All right, so go to the gallery, gallery a second floor Microsoft store. Yep. And ask for Ronnie. Yes. All right, so Ronnie in the Microsoft Store at the Galleria, Notes for Life, Arts and Technology Scholarship Foundation. Ira DeWitt is the winner of the award. Ira, are you rooting? Now, be careful here. Are you rooting for the Cardinals, or excuse me, for the Cubs or against the Cubs? You know, I got to tell you, I guess, I, I don't know. My husband might have a different answer. I don't know. I didn't talk to him about it. We were kind of talking about it last night, but I'm actually going for the Cubs. I like to kind of see the underdog win and you know it's such a rivalry for such a long time i feel like the dodgers cheat a little bit they always spend the most amount of money to get the players so i don't really i'm not really excited about the dodgers winning even though i live a a, a good portion of the year in la like probably spend four months out of the, out of the year in la I, i'm i'm rooting for the cubs I feel like L.A.'s cheating a little bit with their huge, gigantic payroll. Uh, I will tell you that I think we should root for the Cubs because it's so hard to repeat. So if the Cubs win this year, it gives the Cardinals a better chance to win next year. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder what Mr. DeWitt would say. <laughs> there you go. I, Ira DeWitt, CEO of Notify Records. Uh, Ira, uh, you're always welcome here. Thanks for your friendship over the years, and, and we'll talk to you down the road. Thank you so much. You got it. Ira DeWitt with uh, Notes for Life, Arts and Technology Scholarship Foundation. To find out more, ask about it at the Microsoft store in the Galleria, second floor. There you go.